So we will be assembling the IKEA furniture cabinet package today. So first step is getting it out of the box. Oh man, this is heavy. Oh, really, I'm really getting weak. Oh. All right, let's see. Box cutters, always super helpful. Be careful, don't wanna end up in the ER. All right. Oh shit. All right, all right, I got it, I got it, I got it. I can get this open. Oh man. All right, well, you know, that side. I mean, maybe we try a different side. Let's try a different side so we have a little success first. All right, man. All right. All right, look at how easy that is. Look at how easy that's coming up. All right, nice, nice, nice. All right, now I'll do this side. All right, almost, for, almost there. Oh man, it's really hard to talk to you guys and open a box at the same time. I don't know how these other YouTube guys do it. Oh. All right, there we go. Nice. All right, so this is hopefully gonna be the sink base where we'll construct the cabinet. And this is the one where the sink is gonna go. That way we can have everything lined up for when the plumbers come out on Monday and start installing over at that wall the um, plumbing um, hookups. So our future residents are actually going to be able to, you know, get a glass of water or wash their dishes or be yelled at for not washing their dishes. Um, so here's a IKEA's very detailed step-by-step -step explanation in cartoon format. So basically getting a second grade education is enough to be able to pull this off hopefully. All right, look at all the things we're gonna need. Not sure if it comes with that. I got my handy Husky bag. It's everything in here. So we're gonna need a few different screwdrivers and a hammer. Let's just uh, get into it with all the parts. That uh, definitely looks intimidating. I put one together already. So let's, uh, let's hope this goes smooth. This is where all the pieces are. And I've already lost my box cutter. Oh man, oh man. All right, all right, got it, got it, got it, got it. All right, all right, everybody. All right, so here's all the, the parts. Feel bad for whoever has to count all of those. All right, so first up, just gonna skip ahead, assume it's all there. All right, so we're gonna have to line these babies up. Uh, this is the bot, uh, yeah, this is, so we want this groove on the outside. Uh, man, what a beautiful piece of painted plywood. Particle board. Uh, all right, this is gonna be the bottom. So we'll just set that over here for now. Man, Ikea is very efficient in their packaging, way different than, than Bezos. Really could have learned a few things on how tightly they pack everything. All right, so. All right, it's looking good. It looks like the picture. All right, the grooves are on the outside. So first things first, we're gonna get this little screw. Oh, here's the box cutters. Oh man, so many pieces. Let's hope we don't lose any. Definitely get a clean room but without a lot of things. Otherwise this is gonna be a failed endeavor for sure. All right, so we should have six of these. 
Let me just get them all out now since we're going to be working with them for All right, there's four, but I think we're supposed to have six. Yeah, six X, so we need six of these. Not seeing them yet. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Here's one. Instead of buying your kid Where's Waldo, you can just get him a Ikea set and now learn object identification that way. All right. So we put one in the outside hole, I think. I mean, that one is also in the outside. So try to follow, try to follow carefully. It doesn't do a zoomed up version. I'm gonna need to get my Phillips screwdriver. Here's my very organized toolbox. I think this one is gonna work. Let me set this box aside. All right. So it's particle board, so you should be able to get this in pretty easily. Don't be distressed, it's popping it a little bit. That, that just happens. You wanna to try to get it as straight as possible and you can do it. So that went in well. Then we'll do, so we want it on the outside too. Sorry for the shaky hands there. This is why I wasn't able to become a surgeon. I guess I could have still become a surgeon, but not a good surgeon. All right, there you go. This is pretty solidly in. Doesn't take much muscle. And then the next one is gonna go. Basically in each of the small holes is where these go, so. Next one, it's gonna go here. This uses up all six. And they seem to make it pretty foolproof on the assembly side since it's symmetrical. So you just choose one of these sides. Or in about an hour, when I get closer to finish, I would have messed it up, so. Let's hope this is, this is in fact symmetrical and it doesn't matter which side we. All right, there we go. Oh man. Now, I don't think you're supposed to use a power drill because you can really rip the particle board apart. It's very delicate. So um, just a hand screwdriver should be sufficient. All right, nice, we're looking good, we're looking good. Oh man, that one's going in like the Tower of Pisa here, a little crooked. I'm gonna, instead of coming out, I'm just gonna try to correct it. All right, I think that looks pretty good. It looks flush-ish, I'm wearing slightly dated prescription, so maybe maybe on your side it doesn't look flush. Uh, all right, they all seem pretty firm. All right, so step one done. Step two uh, is where we get the base now, and we put in the little wooden, or the, so we should have 
six of these, but we're only gonna use three. That's why it's three X. So we use three on one side, three on the other side. So you got six. All right. All right. So we got this guy here and you want to have that little groove is going to go top side. So here's the groove on the top side. Uh, and you want to face it inward. So it's going to be like this. And you want to put these guys in and it's going to be the second one in because this is on the closer to the edge so this is going to go into this top one and then same here it's the inner one and then this is going to be top so you're going to do the bottom here and that's kind of what this shows is that it's the bottom right below this one so this should be correct so we're gonna grab this now I'm gonna stand it up and so you can kind of see the groove here and the groove here is at the top and now these should line up oh man should have worn knee pads oh hardwood is painful all right All right, nice. We have a good fit. You can push it together or use a mallet ever so slightly. All right, so now that was the hardest part since uh, you had to hold it. Now we do the exact same thing on this side where we do inner, inner, and lower. It in. There we go. And now we flip this on the top, and again, you're looking for the groove at the top to also be the groove on the other two. Oh, oh man, I'm winded. I'm winded. Should have gone to the gym. It's been a while, guys. That COVID 19 has turned into COVID 25. Oh, all right. Ow. Ow. All right. All right. All right, nice, all right, look at that guys. We got the base cabinet ready. You didn't need to hire a general contractor to charge you $10,000 for some new cabinets. Instead, you can spend a frustrating Saturday for the next six months assembling your very own cabinet system. All right. I might just get a hammer to just tap these ever so slightly. Um, probably want to use some sort of cloth so you don't damage it, but I'm going to grab the Ikea manual so you can kind of, actually maybe I don't want to do this. This is uh, not going to end well for the look of the cabinets. Then the wife is going to be very upset that we have to wait another 9 to 15 months for a uh, new cabinet order since Ikea is on backfill. You can create a human in less time and have it delivered than it takes for Ikea to get these ready. So, okay, I think it's good. I think if you use a little muscle, you can get these in and it, it's good enough. It's good enough, guys. All right, so we did step two. Oh no, we... Uh... 
Okay, I skipped a little bit, guys. My bad, my bad, I kind of skipped a four. Um, so we're already supposed to grab these things and put them in here to, to tighten it up. So you actually don't need that mallet at all because this is gonna tighten it up. All right, here we go. So you just grab one of these and see how it hooks in. You're just gonna hook it like that. And you turn. Great. Pretty nifty engineering, I have to say. Although IKEA really should pay its employees more because the most depressed people I've ever talked to on this earth work in the kitchen department at IKEA. Um, you know, for how much money their people are paying for these kitchens, you think they could throw a little bit of commission or something to, you know, have some happier employees. I mean, that's probably why there's no windows in the top floor of Ikea, because otherwise employees would probably jump to their desks. Um, this is personal opinion. I don't, I don't know this for fact, so you know, don't, you know, don't, don't sue me. I can't afford it. I'll uh, probably quickly capitulate to any cease and desist letters sent by Ikea's uh, lawyers. All right, so we got those all in. And it, what it does is it tightens the, uh, the hold so it doesn't just slip out now. So now you're not gonna be able to pull this apart anymore. Here, they're not in yet, so you can still, well, if you were a little stronger, you'd be able to pull these apart. Um, all right, so put this in now. The wife is uh, watching me do this. She uh, has like five engineering degrees and just watching me struggle putting together very basic Ikea box. So that's some good advice to the people out there. Always try to marry up. You don't want to marry down. All right, so just turn and boom. Look at that, look at that everybody. All right, now we just got to find the last missing piece here. Just slip this in and if it doesn't go in it's because you probably have it this way and it's hitting the um, the screw the head of the screw so you just need to have it this way so it's uh, frustrating like a USB plug where you're trying to get that thing in and it's just not going in just turn it 180 degrees or like half a half a turn and you'll be good and then and then just turn and remember ready Righty tighty, lefty loosey, so you want to be turning to the right or clockwise. So I'm glad that uh, the Swedish also observed that, otherwise this would be pretty maddening. All right, so I think we're all good. You don't have to turn it too much because you don't want to strip anything or break anything. Um, and definitely don't use the electric drill, otherwise you're gonna just tear through this cheap particle board and you're gonna have to start over, and I mean all the way over on Ikea's crazy, crazy weightless system. They don't just sell you the whole thing at once or ship it all at once when they get the parts. They ship it like piecemeal under three different systems. It's like either it's being ordered and it's being sent directly to you, either it's on a reservation system, meaning that they've reserved it for you and you need to just like go and pick it up. But if you miss the six day, they say it's like six or seven days, but it felt like a few hours probably because you're waiting on this for months and if you like are on vacation, you miss it. Suddenly you're off the list, it's no longer reserved and uh, you're starting at the back of the line. And then the third thing is um, where they straight up say, we're not reserving it and we're not shipping it to you. You need to just call us every day and see if it's gonna be available to you, uh, which you could definitely miss because we missed a 15 inch cabinet base because I thought it was either gonna be reserved or shipped to us. That was kind of, you know, who, who knew you just had to call every day to get one of the parts um, and they, they won't hold it for you. All right, so we did three, we did four, although I kind of skipped, skipped those um, or switched those. You can, you can totally switch them up. It doesn't seem to have made a difference. All right, number five, same thing. 
Yeah, see, they could have just combined all the steps. You do like, you do one, two, then you do the four, you put those things together, then three and five are the exact same thing. So you could have just combined, combined that, but I guess, uh, you know, and now we feel a little bit more accomplished because we're on step five and we got to get to like 17. I mean, we're like a third of the way through. All right, there's like some sort of information section. I think this is about how the countertop needs to be laid up and how you, I, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to YouTube that guys. I'm gonna have to YouTube someone and see, see how to do this information section. So I'm just skipping that. I'm just skipping that. All right, we get to do some clicking. This, uh, this looks fun. I think I had done this last time. So we need three of those, three of those clicky things. And we're looking for, for this. I think this is the, no, no, that is not right. Sorry guys. All right, all right, all right, all right. This, this. It kind of looks like a, a, a duck a little bit. Quack, quack, quack. I mean, it doesn't bend, so you're kind of, you, you need a little imagination. You need a little imagination. All right. Two, two. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a third one. Oh man, oh man. I don't think it's in here. I don't, I don't think they got it. I, I think it's gone. Or I lost it in like the five minutes. All right, this is what happens. They, uh, they don't pack everything and now you're, that's from my other one, which we already used. All right, so we're missing one. I, I don't think I lost it. I think it. I think it's on them that they didn't pack it. I mean, you should just throw in like a couple extra, a couple extra parts. I mean, this is this is like crazy. Like, I mean, do I get in the back of the line? Do I call IKEA? Like, I don't want to deal with them again. Um, all right, I'm just gonna. You know what? We're just gonna have to make do with these two. Let's hope this thing is. You know. Got structural integrity and this doesn't fall apart. Uh, all right, so. I gotta get the metal thingy my bob. Yeah, here, cause I'm gonna put that in. All right, all right, all right, let's. Yeah, I really, I really did. I really don't think I lost it. I think they didn't pack it. All right, so. Here's the metal thing that we're gonna need. And I'm trying to find my box cutters again, which I keep misplacing. Here we go. If you heard that hit the floor, that's because the wife holds them for me and throws them over. Oh. All right. All right, so now we got I got two of these. There's only one of these. There's two of these, but there's three of those. Why do we have two of these again? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. There's for each side, I think. Because this is like kind of the back of the cabinet and this is the front. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm good, I'm good. So, you get this. I think it's symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. There's no up or down on this. And then, I think it goes like this. We wanna go inside of that cut right here because that looks like it's an inside of the cut. Probably wanna, since I only have two, I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit tighter so there's not as much of a spacing. So maybe like this is how I'm gonna do it. I mean, you don't have to be super accurate on the measurement. I'm sure the OCD people watching this are like, why didn't you measure it with the tape measure? All right, three fingers, three fingers. I mean, that's good. Um, and that's only because I'm missing one and look at this thing just slide around. So it doesn't even, doesn't even matter. All right, so we're gonna get this, the backing. Ugh. All right. First time I put this together, I thought that Ikea also screwed me because it only looks like there's one, but it's just so thin, there's two of these in here. Oh, actually no, no, that's a lie. This is just one because this is a 24 inch wide base instead of the 30 inch wide base. So you only get one of these. All right, that makes it easier. You know what? Maybe that's why you only get two because you only need two since it's only one of these instead of two of those where you need three. All right, all right, that makes sense. All right, I, I, Ikea's right. So 
whenever you feel like you're missing something or IKEA is wrong, no, no, they're, they're right, you're wrong. All right, now you're gonna want the brown side on the outside. The white is the back of the cabinet. So, we're just gonna slide, see the grooves? It's gonna go at the top. Here's the bottom of the cabinet. So no grooves at the back. And it's just gonna slide right in here. And this will later serve to hold it, hold it there. All right, so. It's not as satisfying as you would think, because it keeps popping out. All right, whatever, let's just uh, try to get this. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. And of course, the last little bit, you gotta push up. All right, look at that, look at that. All right, looking good, almost through. So now, It's gonna go on the top like this. It's gonna just hang on there and then we're gonna put the screw right here. So little, the little duck eats the, it's the brown particle board. I guess that's kind of a commentary on the current environmental crisis that they, that they have to eat particle board. All right, here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. All right, all right. And then, We've got to get that crazy number, but they of course don't. Oh man, I'm, uh, don't don't leave other directions nearby. You're gonna screw yourself up. Uh. All right. So to kind of figure out which screw this is, it ends in seventy five seven four. We're gonna look and see which one's five seven four. That one's five seven four. We need the one that's eight of those and looks like the largest screw. So this guy looks pretty big. So I think it's these ones. And the way that you figure out whether or not it's the right one is you count and there should only be eight. Three. Four. Five, six, if you're uh, on the Duolingo app, which is not sponsoring this video today, but you know, hook it up a little later, Duolingo, and you know, we'll definitely uh, throw your name out more often. You could uh, be counting in whatever language you're trying to learn. So we got, uh, Ein, oh man, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben. Oh man, just one more, one more. Uh, ox. All right, eight, eight guys, look at that. Check that out. Boom, boom, boom. Look at how pretty that looks. Look at how pretty that looks. All right, so that's the right one. We're gonna grab one of these. We're gonna put it in here and on the other side, most likely. And then... Let me just double check, 574. Let's make sure there's no other 574 and I'm not using the wrong one because it would suck to have to come back later. Yeah, no, that's definitely right. There's eight of these, so yeah, go ahead and put it in each one. I get a little paranoid since I don't know where the other ones are going just yet, so... And you can just screw it in by hand just a little bit so it stays. And then go like this, go ahead and screw it in. Try to keep it as straight as possible. 
And usually what I like to do is I like to get the other one in next before I finish tightening the first one, just in case you need a little bit of flex. Um, oh. All right, so here's the other one. All right, that looks pretty straight. And now just screw it in. There we go. All right, this one you can go all the way because the other one's already lined up. All right, now let me. You can get that one in tight. You can tighten, do maybe one last turn there, one last turn there, or two turns or three. All right, all right, I guess let's keep this going a little bit. All right, seems pretty stable or as stable as a as cheap material can be. All right, so. We did the click click with the ducks. We did uh, this. Now we go to eight. All right, now it's hammer time. Uh, you, all right, it's telling us something. We don't want this. You want to do 90 degrees. I don't, I guess you want to turn it, but you can just also move your body. That's a little easier, so, but okay. And we're going to start nailing these in. And the purpose of the nails is just to secure the back uh, boarding. Um, so you want to hit it right on the dotted line, which they actually have, I think, which makes it super easy. Pretty foolproof. Like I said, IKEA is pretty, pretty foolproof. This is why you don't actually need to have special deconstruction guys come in and do this for you because they're going to charge you like, what, 90 an hour? Um, yeah, they could probably get it done in like a third of the time as you, but why do you really need your weekends? You're just gonna have to do another chore, so might as well do this chore. And you can definitely milk it. <laughs> Tell your wife it's gonna take a lot longer and it's very complicated. I mean, there's so many parts, you know, they're, they're likely to believe it, except for, as I mentioned, my, my wife's an engineer, so she already knows that I'm just dicking around, taking up too much time, and that should have been built already. All right, all right, all right, everybody. We're looking, we're looking for the nails. We're looking for the nails. Can't seem to, can't seem to find them. This is why it's important not to, oh, there they are. There they are, all right. So, all right, now I like to have the, all right, that wasn't smart. That was not smart. All right, we should still have six of those. So let's just keep those together. All right. I like to have this up here. That way you don't further damage your back. We're just gonna start going. So you'll need a hammer. You might need some Advil depending on how good you are at hammering because you might end up hurting yourself. All right. So the trick is just to tap a little bit, tap a little bit, tap a little bit. All right. And then get out of the way. All right, it's right in there. So there's one. All right, this is the bottom. So they want us just to the left of the right corner. All right, top left, right below. All right, right in there. 
All right, so then bottom left. Oh wait, we did that already over here. Okay, okay. All right, now we're on 11. Oh man, don't you feel like you're accomplishing a lot? All right, now it wants these little, these little guys. All right, so you wanna put these things, which I think kind of allow you to push it against the wall. You're gonna want these with the parabola upside down. So I'm glad your uh, algebra class was useful for identifying what a parabola looks like to be able to assemble Ikea. So you're gonna put it here. I mean, it's just gonna be to the, I'd probably do the right one first. I can kind of have it symmetrical with this one because I put the nail in here and actually All right, so I think it goes near the, near here, so I'll just. All right, and we wanna put, C 503 is the nail. Wait, 319, 319, 503. Do I use a nail? That doesn't seem right. Like, am I gonna break the plastic? All right, I think I do do this. Let me go check my other one, see what I did. Yep, I did use a nail for that. All right, all right, so the plastic won't break. You should always be a little concerned when you're, when they're telling you to hammer plastic because, you know, it tends to crack, but I think these guys are a little, almost, you know, a little resistant to that, so. All right, let's just make sure one final time because I'm not gonna be able to get this out if I do this incorrectly. Um, All right, and it kind of makes it a little crooked, so. Shit. All right, you know, it's a little crooked, but you know, it's good enough, it's good enough. All right. Oh man, that fan feels good. We do not, well, we do have central air conditioning, but we're just too cheap to turn it on, so we use fans. Oh, dang, did I not? I think that's right. Oh, it's a little loose. Shit. Oh, you can just pull these things out because they're, all right, yeah, you wanna keep it pushed down. That way, these little grooves are flush. All right. Well, that's a little loose, but I mean, next Ikea cabinets will be a little bit better job. All right, so we got that in. Now we're gonna do three on the bottom, a few more on the right side, and then we're done, guys, with that. Let's... All right, I'm a little bit below the line. That wasn't great, that was not a great. All right, a little bit above the line. Maybe this one will finally get bullseye. Obviously not a darts player. All right, well. All right, so we're gonna do four more on the right side. Probably do another one at the top here. Kind of match the left side. Oh man, I should have done a little bit more yoga. My back is really hurting. I guess it's like a downward Ikea position. All right. Man, you guys must be bored. I'm so bored doing this. Oh, is there any way to make this interesting? 
Oh, Julia Child probably would have made this really good. <laughs> if I could do an impersonation of her, I would, but uh, it would not go well for me. So let's, uh, all right. So now we do two more and then we have extra nails for some reason. I don't think we're supposed to have extra nails because it's saying like, just use them all. But it only shows two more. I already did three, I did four over there. I did those two. I don't think I missed any. So let me just do two more on this side and then I'll save those extra ones just in case they want me to do something later with them. But they might be just, they might just be extra. All right. Oh. Oh man, I need a break. Oh, what a long day of work. Man, no wonder your grandparents said go to college, don't be a freaking laborer. This is not, this is backbreaking work, people. Oh, all right, give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh man, not as spry as I used to be. Oh, all right, so we have four leftover nails. Um, We'll just see how the rest of the instructions go, if we need those, or if I can just come back and put them in, or if I just keep them for another project. So I'll carefully put those in, so I don't step on them later. All right, into the box you go. All right, so we did that, we did that. Now we can tip this thing up on the right side. Shit, just stepped on the screws. Did not feel good, did not feel good, guys. All right, so got that up, now we're on 13. So we lay that second metal piece across the top, right here and right here. All right, and we're gonna need 574. I think those are the big ones. Let's just check the, yeah, the big ones, the eight. So two more of these guys. Grab this. All right, so. We have our plumbers coming out on Monday, so I need to get the cabinets built. So we definitely know for sure that the sink hookups are going in a certain spot. That way you avoid a change order of them having to move the hookup somewhere else on the wall. Probably charge you just as much as the initial installation. All right. Nice, nice people, nice. Looks like a cabinet. This is a good day's work, good day's work. All right, so 13 is done, 14. Oh man, that's a crazy looking thing. I don't even, did I even do that on the other one? Shit. All right, so I'm on 13, now I gotta do 14. What am I doing? Like, this is crazy, What's, what, what is this? All right. All right, I think it's these metal ones. All right, so I got these guys. It's a hole, more holes. Oh man, Ikea, why aren't you doing some close-ups so we can see what's going on? This is, this is, this is not cool. This is not cool. Um. I think, I think it wants it like this. 
Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty lined up, right? I mean, that looks pretty, pretty right. That's, that's how it wants it. All right, all right, I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Let me go find uh, those screws. It's uh, 940, 940, 940. Okay, so it's these guys, six of those small stubby, stubby guys. Oh man, I was gonna say six small chodes, but I don't know if I can say that. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a PG channel, but like why would why would little kids be watching adults assemble like Kia? That sounds like a terrible childhood. Life is kind of like an email, you know, you have like your good part at the very beginning. Childhood's great, childhood's great. Then the middle part is what you're asking, having to do or work, kind of the shitty part. That's basically, you know, call it 22 to 65. And then, you know, it, it's kind of good again at the end. Hopefully you retired, although the way uh, American retirement inflation is heading, we're uh, all just gonna be living in tents. That, that's assuming there's not like a nuclear Armageddon. I mean, it kind of feels like We've had a pretty good run where, you know, there wasn't a, a massive fuck up. But I mean, how much longer can that possibly last for? All right. All right, all right. Here are the six stubby, stubby ch chode looking screws. All right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's right. So we're gonna put, hopefully this also fits. All right, nice, nice. All right, let's, uh, uh, look at how cool the Milwaukee is. It's magnetized. I'm sure you could uh, save money and not get in Milwaukee and probably be magnetized too, but. All right, let's see. So you just slide this thing in exactly where it's supposed to be. Looks like the holes are lined up. And I would just screw in the first one a little bit it's going in doesn't feel like it's going in all right you got to use a little bit more muscle all right so there's one the next one and look how nice that is back in the day my grandpa told me that he had to magnetize them himself fought a war got shot at it by the Japanese, and then he has to come back to America and have to magnetize his own screwdrivers. Meanwhile, the Greatest Generation's grandkids didn't have to fight in a war, didn't have to have shrapnel in their ass, and we didn't even have to magnetize our own screwdrivers. So thank you to the Greatest Generation for uh, making this freedom possible for us. We salute you. Oh man. Wow, all right. This is like, when you probably should use an electric screwdriver just to salvage your Saturday here. All right, so that guy's in. All right, last one just to line up, make sure you don't need any more flex, and then you can screw them in a little bit tighter. Oh man, oh, oh, what a fairy. Man, how do people put together iPhones? Jesus, that would be so hard. Those screws are so small. Oh man. How are we the first world? We should be the third world. Like we don't even, like we can barely put together this. I just click on Excel every day. Like I don't even really do anything. I don't create anything, don't produce anything. Man, how does this economy even function? All right, there we go.
All right. All right. All right, so we do the same thing on the other side. Just give me a, give me a moment. Oh man. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Whew. Oh man. Oh. Oh. oh man, I wish I was born a Kardashian. This is fucking tough. Oh. All right. Want to do it? All right, line this thing up again. I think I like to do the bottom one first. I don't think it matters though. There we go, there's one. Alright, I know I said don't use power tools, but I think I'm gonna cheat. I'm definitely gonna grab my my drill. I can't do this anymore, guys. I've been going at it for a while. I still have more to go. I'm never gonna get done if I don't use power drills. Alright, I'll let you know if it's a disaster or not. Oh, alright. Alright. Oh man, where's my drill bit? Ugh. So bootleg having a Ziploc bag, not even the good Ziploc bag for my drill bit. All right, let me go see which one fits. Ugh. All right, that's a pretty precarious position to put it, but you know. All right, let's see if that fits. Well, that, that, that feels pretty good, that feels pretty good. Let's try that bit. All right, oh. For those of you that don't know how to use a drill bit, it's pretty easy. See, you just spin it to the left, open it up, those little teeth retract. And then if you spin it to the right, they start to contract and be able to hold the drill bit in place. All right, there you go. Let's spin this baby up. All right, and then before you start, you want to just make sure it's spinning the right way. So you want this going to the right, like spinning clockwise. All right, it is. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get this done. Oh, so much better. Although that didn't feel great. Maybe I'm going to fuck this up. All right, nice, nice. I think I did it, I think I did it. Just save like 20 more minutes of turning this thing. All right, let's see. It's not as flush as if I had done it manually, but you know. All right, there we go, there we go, see? All right, so you can use a little bit of power drill. I mean, I don't think, I think Ikea says specifically not to do that, but you know, I don't have another like four days to put this thing together, so I gotta, I gotta get this done. All right, all right, all right. Now after that, you're gonna take a breather. You deserve it. You're gonna rest in that uh, position that you got yelled at in high school by the coach for why are, you, why are you resting like that? I don't know. Maybe because in seven years they're gonna come out with a study showing that that is the right amount of the right way to rest, and that is the most efficient. Maybe you should listen to your body. Dave, that went to community college and just did two years and now got hired on at a salary where you're gonna buy a house in a year and a half. God damn, Dave. All right. Oh. All right, one last turn, make sure everything's good. That way you never have to come back to this hellscape. Uh, just go in. That's what she said. 
all right all right all right another breather another breather we deserve it oh man i need some ice cream i need some ice cream <sighs> gopro pause gopro stop recording 